patriotic ex-special ops are killing bankers and it is going to accelerate according to inside sources. Old information has become new again. New information points to the fact that ex-special ops are responsible for the murder of almost 50 bankers and the new reports say they are working their way up the food chain. Process with me the various theories behind the killing of the bankers, but it all comes back to, to the fact that the spirit of Trump has been present in many ex-military in this country and they are carrying out their agenda with a vengeance. Last year, 48 prominent bankers died in the most interesting case of coincidental deaths or one of the most daring plots against the elite in modern history. In the most amazing of these assassinations, 57-year-old Richard Talley was found with eight nail gun wounds to his torso and head in his own garage. How could any human being accomplish doing this to themselves? This scenario has repeated itself 48 times in the past year. This article explores the various theories on who is to blame for dead bankers. Are bankers killing bankers to prevent prosecution? Wall Street has been transformed into history's biggest mafia-type casino in the history of the world. The megabanks have become more reckless than ever, and trillions of dollars are at stake and corners have been cut and laws have been broken in order to maximize profits. One prominent theory on who is killing the bankers, centers on the elite-level bankers, who are killing their underlings. Why? Because these banker minions could turn state's evidence in exchange for immunity from prosecution at some future date. According to some, in the final analysis, there is really not that much difference between how organized crime operates operate and how Wall Street carries out its business. Those that believe that the bankers are killing their own to prevent future prosecutions, make a great deal of sense. However, they would be wrong. The bankers, who have effectively hijacked our government do not need protection from the very government in which they control virtually every aspect of power. The bankers have, time and time again, committed egregious offenses against the American people and nobody goes to mail. Dynecorps and Wells Fargo Wachovia have been busted for child sex trafficking, paid a $400 million dollar fine, but nobody went to jail. MF Global stole over a billion dollars in secured investor accounts and nobody went to jail. The bailouts were necessitated because Wall Street participated in the illegal Ponzi scheme called credit swap derivatives, and nobody went to jail. The MERS mortgage fraud has cheated millions out of maintaining ownership of their homes, hundreds of district attorneys are aware of this fact, and nobody has gone to jail. Goldman Sachs shorted stocks related to the airlines just prior to 9-11. They did the same with the Gulf oil explosion. And most recently, the thieves from Goldman Sachs shorted the price of gold and caused a massive dump of gold in April of 2013, just prior to the elite grabbing as much gold as they could as a hedge against the coming economic collapse. Also, don't forget that for over a 100 years, the Federal Reserve has created counterfeit money out of thin air through fractional reserve banking and nobody has even been charged for an offense that would send the average American to prison for 20 years. The bankers are not killing each other to prevent prosecution from a system that they already control. Is Putin killing the bankers? One theory that is floating out there with regard to the assassinations of these bankers has to do with Putin masterminding a giant plot to kill Western bankers in retaliation for their influence in inhibiting the Russian flow of gas through Ukraine to Europe. Further, this same line of thinking postulates that Putin is also killing the bankers because of plunging oil prices, which is devastating the Russian economy as well as SNP lowering the credit rating of the Russian government. This theory fails on its face because if Putin was carrying out these murders, he knows he is inviting World War III. And if he was going to invite World War III, why not just start World III on his terms at a time of his choosing in order to maximize his chances of winning? Clearly, Putin is not killing the bankers. Another disgruntled set of groups who have motive to kill bankers. There is a common thread which runs through the Obama purge of 300-plus senior military officers. The way that a senior command officer gets fired from the Obama-controlled American military is to question leadership decisions. According to my sources, the most common leadership decisions that are questioned by members of the military have to do with worthless and expensive weapons systems which are serving to weaken the military in comparison to its potential foes, namely, China and Russia. 
These weapons systems are of course funded by the banking elite along with the loans underwritten by the mega banks. Inferior Weapons System Operating on the notion that the elite bankers want to destroy America in order to usher in world government, it becomes easy to see why the American military, military contractors, private armies and black cops are under attack. All aware people realize that Obama is the pawn of the bankers. At the heart of Obama's treasonous strategy to incrementally weaken the American military, the F-35 is at the heart of this dismantling of the American military as well as the destruction of the American military budget. The plane cannot climb and turn efficiently. It is a death trap for pilots who will be outmaneuvered by the faster and more efficient Russian and Chinese planes. The only winners in the F-35 controversy are Lockheed Martin, the manufacturer of the F-35, the financial institutions underwriting the loans such as J.P. Morgan and the Chinese and Russian pilots that will shoot down these planes in the coming World War III. The military brass that dare to challenge one boondoggle after another, i.e. the expensive and inefficient F-22 which is now out of production, are shown the door. This systematic destruction of the American military extends to our nuclear weapons in which our launch policies have been compromised and a lack of budgeted maintenance money has been woefully decimated by Obama. Additionally, our suicidal rules of engagement in combat zones have also been a point of consternation among the military. The latter ultimately led to the sacking of three Afghanistan theater commanders. In short, Obama's policies have weakened the American military and destroyed the futures of many American military officers and he is doing so at the behest of the bankers. Before we lay all of this at the feet of Obama, who does Obama work for? He works for the bankers who have hijacked our government. Other Impacted Groups Under Obama, our traditional covered and elite military forces have been assassinated, i.e. SEAL Team 6 and much of the effectiveness of these units has been compromised. Many in the military contracting business have experienced betrayals as well. Contracts have been shifted and work has been reallocated. Many of the military contractors now have chip on their shoulder. These groups have coalesced to form a type of Viet Cong resistance force. Stunning Revelations Last year, I began to receive intelligence information from my best sources which stated that the disaffected three groups mentioned in this article, i.e. black cops, some military contractors and much of the former military leadership, are conspiring to exact vengeance against a banking system viewed as an extreme threat to not only personal military careers but to the country as a whole. This is a populist movement among covered military assets that predates Trump and Brexit. Some people will not go quietly into the night. Today, I was to told that these killings are going to accelerate. Does anyone feel that the opposing forces are on a collision course and it is not going to end well? www.thecommonsenseshow.com slash 2016 slash 07 slash 01 slash patriotic hyphen x hyphen special hyphen ops hyphen killing hyphen bankers hyphen going hyphen accelerate hyphen according hyphen inside hyphen sources. The Common Sense Show Who is Killing the Bankers? HTTPS slash slash u b slash p 2 r p k m i j g This movie reveals the greatest threats to the American people. HTTP colon slash slash amaragedonthemovie.com slash theaters Thrilling and informative and terrifying captured the essence of the dangers which presently confront the American people with clarity and detail. Dave Hodges, The Common Sense Show